just a bloke in a bar. I will say, huge announcement, the Younger Dries chat's back on Joe Rogan. Did you listen to it? I listened to some of it, like just the first fucking I found it moment. fucking, I found it interesting and I also was like, uh, I found Graham Hancock a little bit like, uh, he was just a bit butthurt. He was coming out with just a lot of like, you said this shit about me and you're like, okay, that's fine. Who cares about that? That's fine. He did say that and that's fine. But like. I need to know the Younger Dries, bro. What happened? Like, Younger Dries, it fucking trumps your feelings about you yeah. getting called a piece of shit. What happened, dude? Fuck, get me into the Younger Dries and get me some fucking Ice Age chat. So yeah. basically the whole thing is him just being a little... No, no, it's not. Sook. It's not him being a little sook, but there are elements of that. But he's, his main tenant is just that, like, you haven't explored so much of the planet. You can't rule it out. And I'm now a little bit like, yeah, okay, can't rule it Have out. Have we watched around? No, 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 as in, like, I'm... Not as strong either way now. I'm just kind of... I was like... I like the well, excitement of megalithic structures. They can't be explained. What's going on? Yeah. Now I'm just a little bit more like... There are things that, that aren't explained. Sure. Doesn't mean there's an f- ancient civilization that was existing. Listen, it just means that they're not explained. <laughs> That's all it means. Yeah. But, as opposed to... Well, you could well, go... that equals... Exactly. You could go, well, they didn't explain this. Fairies used to exist. Yes. Dragons used to exist. Listen, well, dragons did. Dragons, <laughs> dragons did exist. That's dragons did. Something. The Chinese. Yeah, that's I mean, fair. That's the fair. Chinese. No, no, that's it. You got me there. You got me there. But it's a good. But I don't think that the. I also don't think that it was answered definitively the other way either. It was just more that they are so heavily like uh, evidence based, mm. and whereas Hancock is sort of more going like, well, what what the fuck are these huge structures mm. that we don't understand? Which I, will I say, think bears. you can see Joe Rogan's bias, like the way he questioned. The Flint Dibble, one of the all-time great names, dude, and also like someone. Oh, I couldn't believe his name dude, was Flint. Someone Dibble. fucking. Oh, have you seen the get-up he was in? Oh, yeah. They were calling him a South Park character in the comments. It's I was so like, unbelievable. Flint Dibble, and he's dressed like out of a video game as an archaeologist yeah. guy that you've got to do a quest for or something. Also, that his old man was an archaeologist and he's named his son Flint. <laughs> oh, it's the best. It's the best, and he's dressed the part, and that's what's incredible. He's got like he's dressed like a mushroom. Like he just looks like a. He looks like something like a. Why a do mushroom. archaeologists like? Jackets and vests and patches and look. patches and ha- silly hats. He also refused to take the hat off. The headphones, yeah, headphones like hanging out the back. back, back of, like, just take the hat off. Well, that's that's, that's his thing. Move. That's his thing. Yeah. Archaeologist, you got to have, you might have an archaeology hat on. You have to. He's representing archaeologists too, so he's got to represent to the fullest. But if you think of an archaeologist, you think of this guy. <laughs> oh, mate. Or at least what he's yeah. wearing. Mate, if you drew an archaeologist and you drew that, I'd say you're drawing a caricature of an archaeologist. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to That's... believe. This you've made this on a video game. I thought that Rogan was sort of maybe a little bit biased, but then I thought he was pretty good at like... I thought I he was pretty good throughout the whole thing of being like, oh no, like is in he's good at Hancock on his shit. Yeah, he's been, he's good at that. But what I mean is, is like the first time that's the first time Flint's been on, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time Graham was on, he wasn't sitting there like hammering him with like in in a way that's like, well, what about this and what about that? He no. wasn't more just like, well, I could give it to yes. you, Graham. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come all over, uh, this sort of uh, stuff. which is look, we all got our biases. So but he, I don't think there's any denying that Joe was pro younger, dryest oh. facial. No. He's a big young Dries guy. Huge. You know? Huge. Huge young Dries. I, I, and I can understand why. It's, oh, it would be fun if it was the case that there was this super advanced civilization that got but that's, No, but that's, that's fun. That's, the, that's, that's incorrect. Like, at least to what Han- Hancock's not saying super advanced. He's no, like, but super advanced in ways that not necessarily replicate speaking. ours, but I think yeah, could have moved in a, a different way. But like, not even, but not even, yeah, not even having like metals. Like, not even. No, 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 no he, he said, no, no, he said, no, exactly. the, so an advanced civilization, this is his own words equivalent to the 18th or 19th century and then when people said there's no evidence of metals being used irons and the, the being like in the ice caps then he said at some point they decided not to use metals yeah which again is like, like okay there's a lot of like there's a lot so, of like you know look, uh, i tell you convenient what sort of like when, look, when graham hancock first came on joe rogan i I don't regret enjoying the experience i don't I regret the couple of years of my life where i was all in i don't yeah. regret it but at the same time Mate, I'm done. I'm, oh, it's I'm over. Not done, it's I'm over, bros. No, you, no, it's you, not done. Oh, you're out. I'm, I've been out for a few years nah, now. No, it's not done, done. You it's can't say that. It's done. Because like, there's still things that they can't explain, which I... Which it doesn't enough. mean there's an ancient civilization, though. Fuck no, but it just I'm happy to keep that. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm choking <laughs> on water. I'm getting choked up. So the, so I'm better to keep that fire burning okay. because it's Keep that fun. fire burning. But then, then you could keep any fire burning, couldn't you? You could just go, well, absence of evidence... 
Therefore, there's a chance it could exist. Well, sure, but I think there's a little bit more. Like, there's a little bit more to what the uh, what the Hancock's trying to push than like, well, there's no evidence that there weren't dragons. But there's also overwhelming evidence that half of his stuff that he said is incorrect. Well, just I'm like I'm only really going off the podcast there where like you know they were going back on certain things, and there's still like enough wiggle room for me where I'm like keep the fires burning. Well, just the the thing is, whilst he was a little bit petty, the fact that the they've only exp- like the amount of archaeology they've done on these areas like the Sahara, like mm. the Amazon, like the what's it called, the fucking sub the Mediter- sub Mediterranean underwater fucking continental shelf, like. That sort of shit is like, okay, well, there's enough out there for this still to be true. So you just you just keep saying, look, you haven't explored this yet, so therefore... No, but true. they're finding, they're, they're, they're actually like, is evidence of, of structures and shit under there. Mm. Like, they're finding these big things, they just don't, they, you know, they don't know what the fuck it is. The Amazon, they're still finding heaps of shit there. I mean, I tell you what, imagine, first of all, if it is true, it's, it'll be fucking one of the greatest things ever. But it's, if it's not true, imagine how much money he's made off that. Yeah. yeah. Hancock. Yeah. Oh well, he's God. just, you know, you can't prove it one way or the other, or at least not yet. So play to the fantasy. Buy my book. Play yeah. to the mind. Buy my book. Watch my this could happen. This could, he'll, if he's smart, he'll move on to, uh, you know, what's out there. Eddie, well, he's been doing it, he's been he's, doing he's, it yeah, for like fucking 30 he's years. He's actually moved on to different things yeah. over, over his career. So but you're right. He'll keep moving. <laughs> yeah. That's no, what I'm saying. But it's been... He, no, but he was writing books about this sort of shit for like... He hasn't really moved on. He's almost just got more and more fucking dogmatic on it. Like he's he's gotten more and more... But I appreciated the concept so that I. I got was enjoyable. So I'm just going to go... Do, you know is, he, is he petty because he maybe feels like he's been backed into a corner and then... No, the guy was calling him a fucking racist. <laughs> because... because yeah, that was bullshit. Yeah. Like that was that's that's in the kind well, of racist, the, the, misogynist. Like no, just the, that real buzzword. The accusation bullshit. of racism is is the the claim that these indigenous populations didn't have the intelligence to do what they did. That's yeah. that. That's but the, that's not what he was saying. That's the thing. It's like it's easy to just if you're going to dismiss someone, dismiss them on like the merits of their argument as opposed to because he never was like, oh, the indigenous didn't have the. It's like. Even if it wasn't the specific, like let's say he thought something was made 10,000 years before it was and currently it's 6,000. It's still the fucking indigenous people of that area that made it. It was just earlier than the fucking time. Like mm. he's not going, you couldn't do it. That, and so, so like just to throw, when anyone's thrown out racist, misogynist, it, you're always like, okay. Misogynist would be weird, I don't know how that's. That's what I mean. So like mm. that, that, I can understand why he was pissed off, but I felt at points it was taking away from it a little bit because it was... That was sort of all he was going back. He's to. he's he's a big anti big archaeology. He's anti that. Oh yeah. He he thinks there's big archaeology out to get him. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's been his it's been his line for a while. <laughs> oh boys, how you been? Good, mate. Great. Great. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You been Not great? Much going on? Yeah. No, mate. All good. All good here. Good day. All good here. Good day. Shout out to good day. No, yeah, I'm all right. Um, family's all good. We had a break in at a holiday house that I wasn't at. My wife's okay, everyone's okay, car got stolen, that's nice. Found the car, there's an update. Car's been found. Car's been found. Big Ute, reach out. Maybe you are a Ute guy now. Well, that's the thing, I'm like, and listen, do, am, I, am I trying to co-opt a genuinely difficult moment for, for a free Ute? You bet your ass I am. <laughs> no, um, car's been found, but I don't know what the fuck state it's in, so it might be written off, we'll see. But anyway, otherwise good, family's otherwise all good. good. I, I will tell family. you that, uh, the good day, so been a bit crook this week, but you know, let's say every day you're at a 10 out of 10. Mm. Usually when you get crook, you're down at about a fucking four, four or five. Mm. But the good day, it, it almost bounces off you a little bit. So I got down to about a seven. A bit of sick kid stuff. But uh, is my kid, kid was, sick? Yeah, like did you get it off your kid? Yeah, yeah, he's sick. There you go, welcome. Um, but welcome, still, but, you know, but I'm still here at work. Well, That's, because we gave you a fucking shield. I'm still here at work. We gave you a shield. You do have um, a shield. And, and we didn't have a shield off, before. I didn't have a shield. It, it's a bit of a shield. Now, you still get a bit of it. Like yeah. it's not a f- like full frontal shield that just completely bounces off. But you can push through it much easier. It stops so. you from, and this is like not medical promises. This is what I feel to be true because yeah. my kids are both sick at the moment. Mm. It just stops you dipping, flu, like cold flu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. snotty blah. But it just stops you. To be honest, actually, I'm completely sweet. They haven't even cut. They haven't, it hasn't touched me. But it stops you like dipping into the proper sickness where you're yeah. like bedridden shit. Yeah, it's you like, just kind of wake up. Oh, feel a bit, you know, a bit sore throat, whatever. Prevents catastrophe. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so there, there's that. There's your review. I mean, I give you a review every single you week, do. and there, and it has worked. It Even has worked. the one where we weren't here because we had to. That was nice. Done. And we were watching it, and then you were like, "Yeah, boys." That was boys when Scope was on, you're like, "Boys, couldn't be a bit late notice." We're like, "Oh, right, I can't." Then he's like, "Straight into the good day." We're like, "Yes, all right, he's back." He's back. <laughs> ah, forgiven. It's all forgiven. <laughs> so all the late forgiven. notice was it was late notice from your partner. I didn't say it was late notice from you. Um, yeah, so make sure to grab some good day, guys. It actually is fantastic, dude. I don't want to. I don't want to use the, the, uh, this gentleman's name to try and sell our product, but this is an anecdote. But it did happen. It did happen. So it's an anecdote mm. that I don't have to pay for. We had our hacker major golf day last Friday, roaring success, and then afterwards, um, we're back in the clubhouse. I'm talking to the great and powerful uh, Jarrell Yao Ye, and he brings up good day. I'm like, oh yeah, dude, it's going well. He's like, dude, check this out. He opens his little fucking satchel. Boom. He's down from Queensland. Boom. Just, you know, just remind you, these things are good to go. You're going fucking, you're going away, going on a holiday, whatever it is. He had a couple with him. He was like, I'm going to need these while I'm fucking down in Sydney. So look, they're the bags you the want man to take come, on a plane. That's are. right. The man comes down ready. Yeah. You know, comes if you're going on a plane, take those bags on. Correct. Well, they're the, probably the only bags we would say. Leave the bags, sleep. bring the sachets, bruh. Yeah. Pretty simple. <laughs> <laughs> great point. Great point. <laughs> that is, yeah, there is a technical difference between a sachet and a bag, so that is a great point. Yeah. It's a great point, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great point. It's a great point. <laughs> that's, uh, BigWoodHealth.com.au, code dribblers, 20% off if you want to be as healthy as Jarrell and Denon. Two Queensland greats. Yep. Jarrell <laughs> <laughs> so Yayi, arguably greatest name all time in rugby league. Pretty close. Mm, I mean, I don't know about did Jamin Jolliffe would say hold my beer. But Jarrell Yayi has a bit of... Uniqueness. Oh, it's, it's got a bit about it. Oh, it's great. I love the name. It's an, it's a, it's a, an incredible name. But you want to throw me at Jamin Jolliffe? I'm, <laughs> I, will, I will pay attention. Of That makes 54 tackles, only misses one fame yeah. on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jolliffe. It's good stuff. It's, it is good stuff. It is good stuff. Uh, boys, where were you when the big hammer dropped yesterday? And how shocked were you to hear that Fish Harris has been released from his contract at the Panthers for the last two years, so 25, 26, has signed a four-year deal which starts next year with the Warriors, uh, essentially, you know, the statement essentially on compassionate grounds. They basically said, Panthers said that the James Fisher Harris came to them and, you know, requested it. And they said, out of respect for our three time winning premiership uh, front rower, we have granted it. What did you think? Oh, I didn't have the reaction you did. I was like, holy the fuck. Easter show clown mouth. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I that's a meme. I couldn't believe it. Unbelievable stuff. It, mate, surely that you had a little bit of clown mouth. I yeah, I was... did, but not like you did. You were full, pure clown mouth yeah. for what? <laughs> fucking ten minutes? Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> a while. Ten minutes. It was, it was a, a long time. People say kind of putting. It balls was too. In your mouth. It was too long. I am um, ten minutes. It was like you were waiting. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for some good day, obviously. obviously. Yeah, no, absolutely. You wanted a sh I, um, sachet in the I gob. thought it was a troll initially when I saw yeah. it. I don't know, like, I mean, if it was a troll, it would be a really lame mm. one, but I was like, that this, seems like a, this seems like a joke. Like, mm. what the fuck? Huge get for the Warriors. Huge get. I, it actually is a, a really mess. toey get. It's a toey get for the Warriors. Oh, it's as toey as it gets. Oh, obviously, Adam Fennell Blake, a gun. But if you want, like, a bloke to, you know, get close to Adam Fennell Blake or even potentially play better... It's the fish. Well, he's, he's a fucking he's, golden boot winner. Yeah. yeah, and terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Imagine him at the Warriors, hearing those drums at a home ground game <laughs> against the Warriors, and you look across, and Fish Harris' eyes are rolling in the back of his yeah. head. He's about to take a hit up. Yeah, yeah how I old think. is he? 28. Fuck, so he's not. Like, he's got time. Kids he's got, got time. time. Uh, the reported amount he's on is reportedly 650 a year. Um, at, the, at, the, at the Warriors. Bullshit. Reportedly, he's going for 650. Reportedly. Around, Jeez, around that's a steal. Now, there were also reports that he was on 950 at the Panthers. I find that super hard to believe how they could fit him on nearly a million dollars a year. But also what, he's going to fucking take a three hundred. Well, maybe it's compassionate, the, haircut? The compassionate grounds. From all the reports, it happened really quickly. He's going to be missed by the Panthers. I was trying to work out yesterday, have they got someone just lurking around that I'm not aware I'll of? I'll tell you what. They can just go over to their little duffel bag of, of oh, weapons and listen. just go, oh, we'll take you out, bro. I tell you what, first of all, it's another player leaving this year, so the Panthers are going to be so scary come finals time. But we have never seen an NRL side with a war chest like Penrith after three premierships. We have never seen a shark this big in the water when it comes to the transfer market. We yeah. have never seen a Panther this deep in the grass. The closest or hiding was the in a storm. fucking tree. The closest was maybe the storm, but like not even but like that would be the closest, and that's not even close. So you still get to live in Sydney. Uh, they won three premierships. And if you go and sign with that club, you basically can guarantee you'll be playing finals footy as long as Nathan Cleary stays fit. 
No, you, but you basically can guarantee winning comps but at like, least once. But I'm all you know what I mean. You can basically mean, like, guarantee that you haven't seen a team fucking pillaged like the Panthers. Like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That's more like the, that's the what storm happens. was. Oh no, and it's, it is what happens. But it's more like they've got so many weapons. Mm. Like Taruva's now going to go to the Knights of the Dragons. Like they've already had people pillaged in that in their backs. Mm. Like Taruva was the next guy, and then fucking he gets pillaged. Like they're just bringing up. Jermaine Hopgood was pillaged before he even fucking really played. Yeah, played first grade. I just think, yeah, I agree with you. Like, it's insane how pillaged they've been. But this big dog in the market, if I'm at a club and I've got a big front rower, I'm going and cooking him some eggs. Yeah. I'm coddling him. Mm. I'm saying, baby, don't leave. Yeah. Mm. Please, any calls, any calls you get from Sydney number, please don't answer. Yeah. Well, actually, what I do is I go, hey, can I put my number in your phone quickly? <laughs> I've got a new number. And I go in there and then I just block everyone but me from calling you. <laughs> Oh, you got to go. You got to go dark. I mean, you're almost you're almost into basement territory, aren't you? Or you put that find my. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're almost into dungeon territory. Yeah, you know, I I don't even know how to do this on my phone, thankfully. But you can do find my friend, right? So you can like go in and then you can see where they are. Yes. You'd be putting that on for all your big dogs. Oh. But that would make it worse because then you're just like the clingy girlfriend who goes, "I need no, to know where you are at know. all times." No, you do he doesn't know you're being clingy. He doesn't know. Oh, being clingy. Clingy. he doesn't. I'm being no. so I'm being sneaky. Yeah, sneak, sneaky. yeah, sneaky. So you've like even got a, a reception to. Disturber outside the house. Like, yeah. man, I never see if you see him, if you see him on the M4, just like cruising out to Penrith, you well, just you hack into his car and you just break it down. You buy him you a Tesla, yeah. and then you can hack into his car. Hack into his car and go, eh, turn him around, yeah. come home. Not happening, bro. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> who like, who do you think they'd have their eyes on? Stefano, I heard yesterday. Honestly, like there's whispers of Nelson and Solomona. Ooh. Obviously, Stefano. If they don't make the eight or he doesn't play Origin, he's got to get out clause. Like to be honest. They, have the, they could have their eye on anyone because if they go to them and say, mate, like you're keen, then that person can go and agitate for a release, uh, which we don't like to see, but it happens. And you're just going, shit. I, I, I seriously, tell me a time when we've ever seen a club like Penrith with a war chest in the transfer market right now. So how much would they, so they, so they're saying they might have 900 grand. I don't believe that. I reckon that seems a, ridiculous. Like for example, they, they could barely pay Payne Haas a million dollars as a front row at the Broncos. Renault's on unders, Reese Walsh is on unders. We lost Flegler, we lost Herb. Like how could you pay Fisher, Harris, a million dollars essentially while you've got Isaiah, Liam Martin, Dylan Edwards. Not to say he's not worth it. I'm just saying like, how yeah. could you possibly do that? Um, so I reckon they probably got about with Luai and him leaving, and Taruva, fuck, mate, they'd have a fair whack to... Who would you go for, though? Well, different position, <clears throat> but could you bring up a junior or something and then go for Fafita? Because he's got get-out I just think too. this is the one I'd position, front rowers, like like outside of Payne Haas and, mate and Tino, tell me a front rower that's came into first grade at 19 years old and been ready to dominate opposition. Just doesn't happen. No. And yeah, you even, so you, you're right. So you've got to get someone more established. I, I think they have to go into the market. Yeah. And also, you could even look at Haas. Remember the first time he played Origin? Like, he had all the numbers and everything like that, but what was the one thing that he probably... Like, he was... He just wasn't as aggressive and mm. dominant. Not because he couldn't, but he's, like, 19 years old. Like, yeah. ex, he's a kid. Expecting him to just go out there and dominate people. It's like, that's not... You've got to grow into that as a front row. Obviously, he does not now. You've got to grow into domination. You've got to grow into domination. That's yeah. a great point. Um, so I think they'll have to go into the market. So Unless someone's, someone's, someone's going to have their uh, balls ripped off then. Someone's balls Who are getting Who though? I'm just trying to think about like props getting around that's like the way you're going, okay, fuck, if they get him, like maybe a Saifidi, there's a couple of them at the Knights. Well, I, I will say the situation with Fisher-Harris is tough because there's no real front rower that plays like him because he's not actually – like he's big, but – Relatively speaking, he's not actually that big. He's actually just extremely fit, mm. hyper aggressive, and um, is fast. Is he's actually quite fast in his first ten meters. And you look around the NRL, and it's like when you actually sit down and think about it, there actually aren't many front rowers like, you know, maybe Carrigan is probably the closest to. I know he plays more minutes, but when you're talking about body shapes and the way he plays. There aren't really that many front rowers. Like, for example, Saifi doesn't play for like him. Stefano doesn't play like mm. him. Mm. Nas doesn't play like him. It, he actually is a quite a unique commodity when it comes to front row. So it, it's, it is a bit, honestly, you know, who, you know who plays like him a little bit? Leo Thompson and Mitch Barnett. <laughs> I was just about to say Leo Thompson, yeah. Yeah. Now, Thompson is uh, contracted, I think, to 2025. 2025, yeah. And I actually think the Warriors will go after Leo, Leo Thompson. Um, He's good. He is really The Warriors good. will go after him. Oh, I think the Warriors will because they'll be able to get Fish Harris to get on the blower and mate, say, mate, come home. Oh, imagine them with so Thompson have as well. Barnett, Thompson. Oh. And they've got the best young forwards coming Fisher through. Harris. And I, that's what I think that the Warriors, 
have signed Fisher Harris, obviously because he's on field ability. But so the young, this is four young forwards, the the um, Warriors that are unbelievable. Like they've got Labor and playing at the moment, but they're just like the next big thing. They've been quoted saying, and I've never seen a young warrior quoted this. They basically have said, all young, this is the young people speaking, all the young fellas, Kiwi fellas, go to Aussie. Um, we have spoken to each other and we aren't going to do that. We want to stay here and, you know, be the next. Be we want to change that. We want to change that. When you hear 18, 19 year olds talking like that, that's a scary prospect. Yeah. Mate, New Zealand Rugby League could be about to get real fucking scary. Given yeah. our fuck New Zealand Rugby Because yeah. unions, we were talking about this yesterday on our potty, apparently union over there is not going that well, obviously. They just don't have the, they don't have the population, they don't have the money. Because there's no money to be seen here, no cash in Australia, none no to go around. No cash here, zero cash, no cash. And if you've got the rugby league sniffing around with huge money, if you're a prodigy, we always say it, South Auckland, and, you know, Pilatus what rolls into town and goes, how's 500 at 17? Oof. What the fuck are you going to do? Yeah. And also, like, come live in Sydney, you know, there's more opportunities for your partners to get good work. But then also, if family's important and the Warriors start to turn up and they've got money to throw around, that's an easier transition. Oh, absolutely. Much easier. Instead of going to Australia when you're young as fuck, you can stay there and rip. And also, guess what the Warriors introduced for the first time in their history this year? They have now a junior pathway all the way through from under... 16s, I'm pretty sure. There you go. So they've got there basically go. a 16 Warriors side, 18s Warriors, like all the way through to NRL, they mm -hmm. have a, a team. Whereas back in the day, if you were a young, good Kiwi player and you wanted to play against the best in the uh, the business and get better and all that kind of stuff, you'd have to leave the country because there was there was no Warriors team as a 15, 16 year old. Could you mm. see Tam Lolo going there? That's that's who another guy I was thinking of. So Tam Lolo is on a million bucks. Okay, let's let's. If there is a guy that could suit the way uh, Fisher Harris played, I reckon it is Tamalolo. Drop a bit of weight on him. The only concern, though, is that knee injury that is um, a chronic knee injury. And so, like, do you want to risk signing Tamalolo? The thing with the Panthers, though, they could they could potentially say, "Mate, come for two years," and he might think about it. You know? Yeah. That's yeah. Don't don't come for as long. Yep. Not going to pay your mill. It come does. It does throw things out though. If <laughs> Like it if can, he doesn't it work. can ruin your season if he comes and you're yeah, fucking investing sure. even if it's for two years, like you, you you they'd be of the opinion that they can win comps now mm. and bringing him in can unsettle things if yeah. his fucking knee blows out. I'm not so saying this is the, the solution here, but is Maverick guy a prop? Like no, is he, he a, is he a back row? Okay, yeah. well, I was just trying to work out if they're not like have they got anyone young that we're even and, just aware of? And like, so like people that go and look, let's be clear, Panthers have defied expectation for literally four years now. So like they're the one club that goes against the grain. Every time you say, well, history would suggest this is what happens. They're the one club that actually bucks the trend. So maybe there is a young guy ready to go in the in reserve grade or younger coming through. But like, even with all those other players they've lost, usually when those players had been injured whilst playing for Penrith Panthers, we would have seen the next guy up play two or three games and we would go, oh, He's the next guy up. He, he's um, he's not as good as that player, but he's a bloody good player. For example, Burton, they had Critter and uh, Tungor. They had Tail and May, Taruva coming through as well. Um, with Catewell, obviously, they had Hickow still, I'm pretty sure. They had Liam Martin coming through, Sorensen. So, like, you, you, you had laid eyes on guys that were going to be in that position next year and being like, yeah, I think they could do a job. The concern I have uh, with uh, Fisher-Harris for the Panthers is I haven't seen a player play when he's been injured and being like, okay, he's, he's the, the next, next guy. Up, next up. Now, I, like my head wants to say, this is going to be hard for them to cover from. But if there's one team that proves that wrong, it's the Penrith Panthers. Would he be the biggest loss they've had? Because it's like not one there. It's not one where they've been prepared to let go. Like mm. it's not one where they've gone, okay, we're trying to fucking clear some cap space Mate. here. This is one where they've gone, oh, okay, we've lost someone we didn't want to lose. We say that every year, though. Like, y like yes. But this is one is. where they've ide they haven't identified him as someone they're prepared to lose, as yeah, opposed to. For sure. And they wouldn't have planned for this either. Like, this is. Would you be a little bit pissed off? Again, compassionate, I assume it's like <laughs> wanting to be with family. If there's anything even more to it, then sure. But like. Well, I think if you're Panthers. Like, Panthers fuck, dude. I think that when you've achieved what they've achieved and they seem like such a well run club, they. But they, 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 oh, they wouldn't feel like they owe Fish Harris anything. But at the same time, it's gotten to the point he's delivered so much for that club mm. and he's got something personal going on in his life. I think all business goes aside and you yeah. just go, mate, you've done so much. 
three premierships, potentially even four. I'll tell you what, look you at it. You've got to So you just go. You just have to. You just, yeah, it's like, is this is this a fight we want to have? You know, the, our, our fearless leader in the middle. And, and he wouldn't come to us if it wasn't something legit. Mm. Um, I'll tell you what, though, if you're another club now, you've got Luai leaving, Fisher Harris leading. They've got the last ride motive going. It's a scary prospect playing the penalty. Oh, it's it? fucking terrifying. But everyone in that setup would know how hard it is to win comps. Mm. So the fact they've won three, they made four grand finals, they could win this year easily. You just go, that's enough. And you've you've paid like, your dues. Geez, it would have been nice to know this a couple of weeks ago. We could have got Tail and May use the fucking, or what's his name? Fucking the other May. Terrell May. Terrell May. I think Terrell's a different style of player. But do you need Fish. to get it exact like for like? Is that what you're looking for? Well, their for? system is so specific. Yeah, okay. Like, though, Leota and Fisher-Harris are so important to their system. It's it's insane. Like, you take those two boys out, and there's an argument that the system collapses because they don't have the speed in, in their defensive line. Like, Leota is... Like, put it this way. Attacking-wise, they're actually, statistically and everything, not... Uh, I wouldn't say not anywhere near as good as, like, a Haas or your, your Adam Fnall Blakes. But defensively, they're the best front row pairing in the competition. Mm. And so you have to go out and get the best you know, defensive front row in the competition. Um, because basically the way the Penrith Panthers system works is, Penrith Panthers system work is, is like our outside backs get us all the meters. You, when you need to do a help, yes, obviously jump in and do it. But your main job is to get line speed and dominate the opposition and be fresh for defense. Mm. And so if you take out the key to that, then you know they're not getting line speed as much, and when Leota's off the field or Leota's having a quiet game, you know Fisher can't pick it pick it up. It's kind of like the Melbourne Storm; they lost uh, Cheese, and and when you looked at that side, you wouldn't say Cheese is you know the biggest player or the most important player, but his combination with Harry Grant, they've struggled since they lost Cheese mm. to get momentum, to get Cam Munster into the game, to get Hughes mm. into the game, to get Pappy into the game. So it's hard to say. I, as I said, I think that because he's not such a unique body shape like Payne has, like Tino. Um, like Adam Fennell Blake, we don't actually realise how unique he is as a front rower. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is going to be hard to replace. But as I said, we have absolutely never seen a club with this much clout, with money going into the market. I think there's going to be some fucking very nervous other clubs going, fuck me. If you're, if you're the Tigers, you'd be shitting yourself. <laughs> I don't think there's anything we've got to worry about. I think Mount Paseca's probably signed up. I don't know if there's anyone else like around there the way you'd be like, fuck, don't take them. No. I think we're pretty good. I think we're all right. Dogs are desperate for front rowers, so they're fucking not worried. They'll be like, yeah, right, you can probably take a couple of hours. <laughs> oh, all I can Knights. say is thank God this happened after Haas had extended. Dude, imagine if they got Haas. They couldn't. Though. They would have. They, but they couldn't because the amount of money, unless it's like he'd be like, I'll take less for comps. I think he, well, he's still 24 years old. If, if last year was 23, I'm pretty sure. Well, if he's 24 he this signed. year, I bet you tw last year he was 23. Well, when he, I'd almost uh, think he guaranteed When he signed that. the contract, he could have turned 24. Well, he could, be, he could have actually been 22, to be fair. Yeah, but he was I'm pretty sure he was 23 last That's year. Age was. When, when he was re-signing, I'm pretty sure he was 23. Can you check his age? Yes, so he turned 24 in December and he re-signed in August. So he was 23 when he re-signed. So he's 23 when he... Yes. Um, yeah. And so, like, if you're 23 years old and Penrith Panthers are coming to you saying, look, we'll give you... A, Seven, six, seven. You're probably you're probably taking it, especially because of your um, penchant to just throw away GFs as well. <laughs> well, that's true, right? Like, well, we haven't done it yet. We hadn't done that yet. But you already, yeah. But you had done. Yeah. it. You, you'd done it in <laughs> as 20, a club. You had fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. 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 yeah and yeah. now you've done it twice. So he's probably regretting his decision <laughs> <laughs> immensely. Oh uh, yeah. You know, huge uh, though. Can you make it through? Pump for the Waz. Like the Waz, the renaissance. Is it even a renaissance? Because they've never really been there. No disrespect to them. They've made two grand finals. But, mm. like, but, they, but they were never they've expected never been to win. No, right? Like this no is sort of like a... <coughs> it, 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 it's it's like the Waz emergence. It feels different. Yeah, it does. It feels different. It does feel different. Another, you know, part of this whole situation, Webster again, nailing a recruit. Like, fuck. He's that doing guy, well. Like, honestly, is he a demigod? Is he half god, half man? He's Seems killing like it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's his second year of friggin' it. coaching. Yeah. It's insane. And we're already talking about their all those jealous, being like, mm, that was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. It should have been uh, me. It should have been me. It should have been me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, goodness. Um, this isn't all Webster signings, but in the last two years, the Warriors have signed Roger Tulvasashek, Fisher Harris, <clears throat> Neil Klockstad, Harris DeVita, Tamara Martin, Kurt Catewell. Nia Corey, Dylan Walker, Mitch Barnett, Luke Metcalf, and Jackson Ford. Yeah, dude. I actually, I was, I was, we were, we did the potty yesterday, and we were talking about that. In my defence, 
I was mere hours removed from a very stressful situation. I was like, what's Maddie talking about? I swear these guys were already there at the club. And then we were looking at him and was like, Maddie's off his fucking head. And then I was like, oh, actually, no, we're wrong. We're completely wrong. It's wild how many. Oh, did you edit the potty yesterday? No, 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 no. He just he put, put it up on, on He put it up on Instagram. Oh, where okay. Read like it out. the signings, and yeah. so we spoke about it. Oh, I haven't got up to that part of your, your podcast. Yeah, yet. yeah. And I'm and I'm going. People you know, are like, what the fuck? People are you doing like people come on did, YouTube we did before catch they on, get though. to the end of it, where yeah. we go like, oh, actually, wait, we're wrong. Sorry, mate. People are like, they all fucking did sign there, and it's like, <laughs> all right, dude, keep listening. We realise that. Um, I think what's more impressive about that signing list is that is the fact that we are impressed because you have to remember when a lot of those signings were made, a lot of those players were not considered as good as they are yeah, now. Yeah, your Barnett's, your Metcalf. Barnett was like, you know, getting suspended. Metcalf couldn't couldn't get a crack in first grade. Charles was in reserve grade. Um, Tomate Martin was coming out of, uh, couldn't get a start at the Broncos. Nick Cora was Nick in Cora, there. He, uh, he was still he was playing good at well. Power. Yeah, he but, like, but, he, but he hadn't locked down a position. And also he wasn't like, you know, known as well as he's known now. So yeah. like the most impressive thing is, is like the fact that he's taken guys that were essentially fringe, you know, even playing resis to us sitting here going, wow, they, he signed Chance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the craziest part. And to the point where he's got Chance <clears throat> and then you've brought back Roger and he's like, nah, Chance is my man. Oh, and Chance. Chance is my boy. He is unbelievable. He, 346 metres the other week in his second game back after being injured for ages. Shout Mark out to the Waz. Shout out to the Waz. Up the Waz. Also, Shawnee Johnson's renaissance. Now you can use that word because yeah. he's back. He's like playing better than he's ever played. Mate, he... He's like, home. He's home. He's home. He's home. <laughs> and that, you know, that's pretty simple. Is it, is it, look, if Fisher-Harris, if he's home... Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. If he's been playing away from home, if this is away from home, Fisher Harris. Him off the back fence, first hitter. Jesus Fresh out of Christ. his own bed, mate. Yeah. Oh, I mean, playing out of your own bed's different. Probably lives down the street from just him. Just different. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, going, back it. home. Hey, going, yeah, back with his people. Oh, damn. Shit. Yeah, God right. damn. Back with our people, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, don't forget, Joe Manu is our hungriest player this week. The offer this week will be $10 off Guzman y Gomez. Uh, Menulog also have a promotion with Guzman y Gomez where if you order for a few people, you get free delivery. Minimum order here is 60 bucks. Both promos can be used in the same order. Holy heckers. Good Use code load. Manu. Uh, Eels. Good loady. Sign Zach Lomax. Para, sign Lomax for your deal. Reportedly 2.8, 2.6 million over four years, which is 650K a year. Not too bad, not too bad, if he keeps playing this way especially. You don't sound impressed by $650,000. Is that like from a bloke perspective or is that a... <laughs> I mean, from a from an Eels perspective, oh, okay, I'm not so signing over. I don't know, you just didn't say, I was like, whoa. They haven't signed overs. You know, that's, that's not they too bad. They got a good price. They now, got a good price. Do the Dragons, sorry for that drive-by. <laughs> really un no, really no, unnecessary. I'm not sorry. No, it's not, it's always good. Do, do the Dragons, because he's asked for a release, do the Dragons have to top him up or would they just be like, you can go? Uh, it, they wouldn't be talking about yeah, that. Yeah, right. It would have been... He, like, mate, yeah. if you're begging on your knees to, to, for well, someone to let you go, you can't just sure. go, oh, top me up too, well, bro. fuck, who knows? <laughs> That'd be outrageous. You're like, we well, you can stay here and play for us and be miserable, or you can fuck off and take unders. Under what you're getting out, which is clearly what he wanted. He just wanted out badly. Yeah, look. I get that. According to the media. Well, I get yeah. that. I can understand someone not wanting to play at the Dragons. I think we all can. Well, I mean, look what poor Ben Hunt's gone through. Exactly. Didn't they and beat now they hey? didn't they beat you? Yeah, but how many times do I need to go over yeah. the I same just asked the question. I'm just point. asking the question. Denon, I'm just asking the it's question. important that you start listing, mate, or <laughs> this show is going to be untenable. <laughs> we don't beat the Dragons on the Saturday Easter game game in at yeah, Wollongong. Wollongong. We just it just doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. It's, what's the reason for that? It, fucking pff, don't know, mate. What? Why is the fucking sky blue? You know what I mean? It just is what it is. You make, your peace, you make your peace with it and, yeah, you, and yeah. you move on. You'd have to take that up with the rugby league gods. <laughs> Fact is, Zach Lomax, credit to him, has found a way out of Alcatraz. Mm. He's left. He's yeah. got out. Yeah. He's swum. He's battled the currents because there's other players there. You poor, I just think of poor Benny. Well, Ben now, I think Imagine him just at the door, like, No, I think Ben now has, like, Stockholm Syndrome where it's like he wanted to leave, but now they've tricked him and he's like, no, I think I'm going to stay. Oh, well. Do we believe that? Hey, well, did, did you just know, and this could be wrong, so Dragons diehard fans, let me know. St. George Dragons is actually named after the saint that slayed a dragon, apparently. It's actually not after a dragon. Oh, so it's St. George who killed a dragon. So yeah, I'm pretty sure. Could you get Is that why 
Yeah. Is that why St. George is like the knight? I think so. And it's he, probably one of the rabbitos things. It's not actually a rabbit. rabbit it's not actually a rabbit, rather. Rabbit <laughs> not actually a rabbit. Um, I think it is actually... So, like, every time I think of the dragons, I think of an actual dragon, but it's actually St. George slaying the dragon. So it's a saint. That's correct. There you go. In so people should be saying the St. George's. The St. George, yeah. The like George's. It's named after George. Yeah, so this is the George's. We're the George's. Yeah. As opposed, you don't really want to be a dragon that's been killed. killed. There's that's a, sort of lame. There's a huge article. I'll put it in the show notes because it's obviously too long to read now. But in a legend, St. George defeats a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's a huge article. But dude, that was ma- article, how can they yeah. make that any longer? <laughs> Tink- nah, that was, that was a big word I didn't want to say. So. Oh, say it. come say on, it. never cry. Yeah. Ven- venerated. Venerated. Venerated? Venerated. So they're really the St. George Illawarra Georges. The Georges. <laughs> yeah. The St. George Illawarra Georges, <laughs> who in brackets killed the dragon. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. mythology. Yeah. They even killed themselves. Take the like, George wow. Illawarra Georges. <laughs> Up the Georges. Up the Georges. Come on, Georges fans. <laughs> <laughs> the Georges. The Georges. <laughs> Good on ya. Oh, I would love to know, like, has it just been lost in time? And it's be called we call it the dragons, or was it intentionally named? You know what I mean? Like, how yeah, did that yeah. come about? Why? Yeah. Why it doesn't even make, I guess, sense that you would be called the Saint George Dragons. It's St. Like George's St. Dragon. George's Dragon? It's almost so it well, should be St. George's Dragon. It's killed. all very confusing. That he Listen, killed. it's the last thing the dragons needed was this, but it is what it is. You're the and, George's now. And yet here we are. Here now, we are. did Flanagan not say that he needed to get a top three player in return? Initially, he did. I think. And that's not happened, obviously? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, so basically, lost Lomax and that's it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, which would suggest to me... The narrative that Lomax has been just pushing to go mm. and they've wanted to keep him might not necessarily be 100% uh, okay. on, on He's part. fucking... I he, think it's a mutual. Yeah. I think I think Flanagan, again, this is all assumptions, I think Flanagan got to that club, looked at the salary cap that they've got currently, looked at how much Lomax was getting paid and basically said, mate, unless you're the best centre in the competition, we don't want to pay that amount for a centre mm. or a winger. Yep. And then Lomax has probably sat there and going, well... This has sucked for the last few years. So if you don't want me, I'm happy to go. Yeah. And I think that's what's happened. I think that makes a lot of sense. So they're just fucked then. They've got, uh, he's he's killing it at the moment. Like, do they have anyone that they're looking at? No one wants to go. Joey Manu would prefer and go and play third Mm. grade rugby in Japan and fucking go to the. (laughs) I I think if you're the the Dragons, to rebuild, you just, you need to go into the core positions. You know, the, the really important positions, your 13s, your fullbacks, your sixes, your sevens, your nines, yeah. your front row. So Centre's that's not important. And so th- as important. As important. So I think that's probably where they're going to redirect that amount. Not all of it, but yeah. like, let's say they had 400 in the cap to go after a front rower. Now they're probably going to have a million in the cap to go after a front rower. So do you think then Flano's more that whole, like, we're only going to do it for a top three is almost like, listen, if we manage to pull that out of our ass, yeah. great. But if we don't, then whatever, we'll just fucking Yeah, I, I think he was just trying to go, negotiate to get the best deal possible. Yeah. yeah. And Eels just went, not a chance. Top three was probably asking a little bit much. Yeah. You, it, Lomax is fucking killing it on the wing. Yeah. Do yeah. you think even the yarn of him not wanting to play on the wing is bullshit? Because, like, you go to Parramatta, like, your Pensini's there, but, like, no, I you've think got Bailey Simonson. Like, it's not like he couldn't walk into a centre position, but you're not playing fullback when Gutho's there. He'd, he'd, play, he'd play centre, wouldn't he? Well, he could play centre if he wing, wanted to. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I think, um, I think he Johnny Russell. absolutely doesn't want to play. Uh, sorry, he, I think his preference is absolutely to play centre. But the idea that he's like, unless you play me centre, I'm out of here, I yeah, think that's right. nonsense. Yep. It's like anything. Like, do you think Ben Hunt wants to play nine for Queensland? Like, as in, sorry, do you think that he would rather play nine or seven for Queensland? He'd rather play seven. Yeah. But he plays nine, he kills it, he breaks your heart every year. Hey, what's, hey. what the fuck, dude? I'm just speaking facts, man. Are you going to apologise? I apologise to well, you. Well, he does I'm just speaking truth. Girls. So am I. I would, no, you won't. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't break your heart every year. That's not true. You've got a palatial estate and fucking in the shot. <laughs> we know that. I was speaking the truth. It was just maybe a little bit, I just got you. We won in 2021. That wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago at all. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, so don't make out like it was that long ago. <laughs> what do you got there, Matty? Uh, this is such a cool fact. They were originally called the St. George Dragon Slayers and then it eventually formed into the dragon. So this is on the stgeorgedragons.com museum. Led by Captain Herb Gilbert, St. George Dragon Slayers were defeated 4-3 by Glebe, 
with only try blah blah. Sounds like a good game. So that's how it started. The better, Dragon Slayers. The Dragon Slayers is cool. Better, like better name the back Slayers. then. Better names. The Dragon Slayers, the Dales. That's the Annandale Dales. Yeah. That's a ripper. Glebe Dirty Reds. Glebe Dirty Reds, that's right. The so, Slayers, I like the Slayers. Yeah, that's I'm not going to call them that though. They're the Georges now. They haven't slayed much in all. They haven't slayed anything. They've slayed absolutely fuck all. Except so. for you guys a few weeks ago. That's oh, that's not a slang. That's not a slang. <laughs> Seems like a that's just two me. points, mate. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> What's a slang in a GF? Slang is a GF, which you've gone through multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, look, I, I think, oh man, it's almost like um, the eels were like dying of thirst, and they're like so parched for an outside back. Then Lomax is going to arrive, and they're just yeah. going to be like, oh, quench, is he going to quench their thirst? Oh, I think he's going to quench their thir- thirst quench desperately. Him. Yeah, he'll quench them. It'll quench him. He's got some quenching in him. Like a solo. Look, an eel out of water. You don't want an eel out of water. No. Nah. And the outside back eel's been out of water for a little bit. They've had Pensini there. It's been good. Sivo, he's been okay. Struggled a little bit lately. I wonder if they'll fucking... Do you reckon that flick Sivo? Is he, is he on the... Look, I've, I've been saying for a little bit now that Sivo needs to probably... Drop some weight. Up his involvement. And yeah, probably could lose muscle mass. He's, too he's jacked. Dude, so he's, jacked. He's, he's so big. His calves are almost illegal. Should be. Yeah. Should be. They are... Ridiculous. Um, Fooling around with redwood trunks. I, I just think in, in that squad, he needs to get involved more because they don't have someone else picking up that slack. Whereas like when Blake Ferguson was there, he was running a thousand times a game. So you mm. like you can get that. Whereas, um, so yeah, hopefully if I can, because if he if he can up his work rate, plus he, his, what he does do really well is his incredible finisher. Like mm. you give him the ball in the wing, he's scoring. They just need to get through, I reckon, a little bit more work in, in the middle. But if you have Lomax getting through that work for him, then maybe he can be on the wing and just finishing, you know? Mm. He's uh, very good. He's been fucking good this year as well. Oh, been outstanding. Uh, I, okay. Sorry, I just think it's important to note, I can't believe you've been running with this for three weeks and no one's said it. The Manly, Manly beat the Dragons last year in Wollongong at Saturday 5.30 Yeah, that PM. was the first time in like 400 years. The general trend. Oh, if you no. check generally. Generally. You have to, like, you okay. can't. There's the anomalies general, always. Of course. Oh, so, but you said the sky, is the sky blue. The sky doesn't not be blue. No, no it, well, it does. does what do you mean? What do you mean? In dark, it's orange. Bro? In daytime, the sky's always blue. You ever seen night? Well, what about cloudy? Exactly. <laughs> it's still blue. No, it's not. It's not. Come on, mate. Uh, Come on, mate. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh, the Eels were our Mosh bounce back of the week. Join 30,000 other guys in the Mosh hair regrowth family and get $50 off your first treatment with code bloke in a bar or one word at checkout. Also, KO Sports is a place to watch all eight games of NRL this week. There's plenty of other great content you can watch across so many different sports. Make sure you jump on KO to watch your team play every single week. Rabbitohs sign Dave Ferner. Ferner was part of the Rabbitohs coaching staff. He's a bit old, isn't he, to be playing? Like where, would he, where, would, where would he? Where would he? Where would he slot in? Yeah. Get him 10, 10, 20 minutes. In 10, fact, 20 off the bench. Off the bench. Yeah, okay. 10, 20 off the bench. Jesus, getting yeah. desperate over there. Fuck. I, I, I think it's a good sign. It'd probably go better than they're going now. Maybe you're right. Maybe you need to go back into the past to sort of, you know, go forward, go backwards, to go two forward, steps you know? back, one step forward. Kind I think of stuff. that's the. Or, yeah, I think yeah. One step back, two step forward. I think we're nailing it. Whatever the saying is, <laughs> we're getting it right. Yeah, uh, um, you, you can't go forward until you go back. Yeah, or like. Well, forward doesn't exist without the concept of backwards. Yeah. So otherwise, it's the only direction you can go. Yeah, which is just nothing. You're just you, going. You need backs to go forward. And yes. <laughs> Listen, I think he's a great <laughs> signing. I'm really excited for what he can do off the bench. Um, Barabados are fucked. They could do worse. South are short and struggling in their second row at the moment, and he was a second roller. So there you go. where are we at with Jason, JD? Uh, I believe that they brought in... Dave Ferner to try and just save this season, basically. This is the this because it's so early to sack someone. Like otherwise, it's why? like, well, because if you bring in an interim, what are they expecting? What are they expecting to, to make the eight still? What's your who, what are your next? I don't two think games? you're going to make the eight. No, I think what what, he, what Maddie's saying is is like, you you bring him in because the season is still salvageable. Well, I don't think so. I think like, it's all over. Oh look. I think a lot of well, people yeah, but it, but it, technically still salvageable. Yeah, it's round seven. Like it can be turned around, even though it probably. Whereas interim coach is just like after this yeah. round, you just go. You got to buy this I'm weekend. With you you buy play this then, weekend. Then you play is it Panthers and Storm? Uh, Storm first on Anzac Day, and then really Panthers. good stuff. I'm loving to hear that for you guys. Da- oh, it's all right if we film another day because he wants to go down a fucking oh, like Anzac Day falls on a Thursday. Yeah, Let's can we do Wednesday? Wednesday? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try to do Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Um. No, it's not me. It's him. That's a request from him. Thank you. Can't do Wednesday over? 
No, I can do Wednesday night, but I just he want wants to, to go down and watch. The I want to go watch Rabbitohs play the Storm. So they've moved that this year, haven't they? So Rabbitohs now play the Storm, yes. and the Warriors host the Titans. So there's three games That's on Thursday. That's a bit random. I, I, I'll tell you why. I'll tell why you why. Why the Titans? No offense. Okay. Could, we, could I, we have not found someone with a bit more? No, that's fair a bit enough. More Anzac spirit. That is no disrespect. That's fair enough. They got they stopped the Warriors Storm game because two reasons. One, the Warriors wanted to host an Anzac game, which is completely fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. They're half of Anzac. Absolutely. But also, no the NRL don't want to take a game away from Melbourne because the big AFL uh, Anzac Day games there, so they think they can get spillover to come to. The, they don't want to have. They don't want to not have an NRL game. All that's Anzac making sense. It's the okay. Titans issue. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't answer that one for you. Sorry. No. <laughs> no. So I thought you almost had an answer, and I was like, Oh, this will be interesting. Yeah, it didn't. Don't have know an how you're going to justify that. No. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, mate. again, like I like to, the dribblers will send us in their thoughts often and sometimes I will decide to listen to them. What about the idea that don't bring in an interim coach now when you're about to lose to the Storm and then lose to the Panthers? Mm. Maybe, who I don't know you're playing after that, but like you're going to lose both those games, I would assume. Then after that, bring in the interim so they don't start off with two humpings. Uh, well, he's not the interim coach yet. No, I'm just saying, like, oh, don't okay, fuck off yeah. JD and until, bring someone in. I'm not saying yeah. Fern is the, the interim. Oh, look, I think that they're looking at like, technically, this year is still salvageable, and it's also an insurance policy. If we do move JD on, Fern has been around, he's, you know, he's pretty sure he's been assistant coach of Australia, but he's been an assistant coach across the board. So he's got experience. He's also played over 200, in, oh, 200 NRL games, you know, so he knows, the, like, he knows the game. Yeah. And so I think it's an insurance policy of like, look, best case scenario, we turn the season around, we sort our defence out, which is like worst in the comp. Worst case scenario, obviously we move on from JD and we put Ferner in there until we can find someone to be the coach. Why don't they bring in Mr. Interim? Who's Josh Hannay. Josh Hannay. Oh. Mr. Interim. Like in the EPL, they've got relegation specialists, guys that come in mm. to save a team from relegation, like Sam Allardyce, Big Sam. Boy the boys kind of stuff. He, they come in and boy the boys. I'd be bringing in Mr. Interim himself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, get, becoming an interim this early into the season, is that like... It's quite early, isn't it? They're basically it? a full-time coach. Yeah. But he'd be Mr. Interim, though, without a shadow of a doubt. I just think that there's not enough respect put on the on. We on, should be giving out an interim the coach IC. of the year award. Now, 100%. some years maybe there isn't one, but like, oh, there always usually is. there nah, is. there's always one. <laughs> there's, and if, and if, if there isn't one, then... <laughs> then you don't... Then they, you're a carryover champ. But usually, usually you get, you know, a couple of sackings at least. I mean, we're getting one this year. We know that for sure. <laughs> 100% getting one this year. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, so look. Hopefully, look, he, he was known for his defence, so maybe he's the man to do the job. Uh, don't forget, LDV's T60 Power Player of the Week is Sean Bloor, his match-winning try against the Bulldogs. The LDV T60 has 160 kilowatts of grunt, which makes it one of the most powerful utes in its class auto from 38990. Drive away for ABN holders, seven-year slash 200,000 kilometre warranty, whichever occurs first. I will say we're talking about greatest rugby league names, Sean Bloor up there for me. I just, it is, there's something about Sean Bloor. <coughs> I'd like, I'd like to hear it in, um, who's that fucking rapper who always raps about NRL? Raps about NRL? He's that Aussie rapper who always like drops in NRL shit in there. 360. Chilling it? Oh, chilling, it? chilling it? Chilling it? I'd oh, love chilling. to hear Sean Bloor somehow find his way into <laughs> chilling it. NRL's got the best names in the world. Mm. It yeah. does. I'll, I'll, I'll pay that. Teague I'll pay Wilton? That. Teague? He sounds like Teague. he's a bit Irish in him, Teague. That love sounds that. like. You know, anyway. Sure. Uh, Queensland fullback. Uh, Billy Slater has not ruled out both Ponga and Walsh in origin. Reese and Kalen are in control of where they are going in their careers and performances. If you ask those guys, they would love nothing more to be teammates. And that's a possibility as well. Mm, it's my... Interesting. That's... It's just... What's going on with Billy? Well, the thing is... Reese and Kalen are in control of where they are going in their careers and performances. It's just a bit much for me. Well, but also the way he <laughs> delivered that, he delivered that with like a guy playing a banjo like but no, behind him at his press conference. And Billy said that in rhyme scheme, like in a poem. <laughs> a haiku? Yeah, it, it was... was a, it's it's oh, said just in haiku. quietly, bro, are you just watching Shogun? Not yet. Is it amazing? It's fucking amazing. Everyone's been, I know, dude. It's, it's as good as Game of Thrones, good seasons. Oh, okay. really? Okay. It's fucking amazing. It's as good amazing. as Game of Thrones, good it's seasons. Good as, Early Thrones? Honestly, you, there's an argument to be made that its first season, I think it's only going to be one season because it's on the book, is better than Game of Thrones' first season there. Wow. Season. Well, you know who, you know who's uh, girls luncheon, brunching, interviews by the pool this weekend, Saturday afternoon? Yeah. One Ella Dumbrell, Ella Simpson. <laughs> Shogun time. Oh, you're going to pound it. Well, it's ready. Mate. It's time. It, and just, I've got time now. 
I've got pound the, it. It's it's time to take mm. it to Pound Town. Mm. It's it's get your Pound Town ones on and because it's get unbelievable. To pound it. get How to many pound episodes? I uh, think it's ten. Oh, that's okay. Good. That's so a good. good amount of time. Because then you know, if I get my teeth stuck in, now I'm addicted. Now I'm just watching it all the Mate, time. It's I love that. Get the misses so in. episode eight was last. It was last week. I just finished it last night. So they're releasing them weekly. Yeah. Oh, great. And I've got eight to pound. I might have to get fucking catching up because I wouldn't mind watching it with everyone. Mate, it's so fucking good. Like, What's this got to do with Billy Banner? Bit Banjo much. poet. I don't know. Well. <laughs> Haiku, I, mean, I said haiku. haiku. I said uh, haiku. Yeah. Because they do do haikus, isn't it? Really? Do they? It's pretty cool. Do you like haikus? Are Look you a haiku man? Am I haiku man? I don't know. Like, because a haiku, they kind of like randomly just start them. So like, they'll they'll be like an emotional scene, and they'll be like, trees fall from the sky, and then someone will respond with a haiku back. Oh, they're just <laughs> and then it's just a battle rap of a haiku. Oh fuck! Oh, it's a haiku like, off. Yeah, and they they out, they out haiku each other. But they're having to finish each other's haikus. Like almost like a battle rap. You've got to like be in the same zone, but you've got to say oh, a better haiku part. Wow, dude, a haiku. And off. Last night, one of the main characters got out out haiku. Really? Yeah, that would have been yep. huge. Out haiku. Uh, yeah, it's such a good friggin' show, and it's just like. It's not afraid to, you know, have. It doesn't pull its punches. Okay. I don't, I'm sick of shows pulling punches. Yeah, I, want, I want the full thing. Punch yeah. me in the fucking punch dick, me. bro. Yeah. 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 Punch, punch, my, punch me in the dick. Punch my willy. Let me feel something. Yeah, yeah. Punch oh, my Pereira. Willy. What about Pereira getting kicked oh. in the dick, going, mm, no, thank you, sir. Hey. I'm going to knock out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I ask you this then? Because obviously that Max, we've got a bit of recency bias with the, the Holloway knockout, which was Greatest knockout all time. It's fucking amazing, It's right? the greatest knockout all time. But, I don't care what anyone says. No, well, so this is what I want to ask, right? So the, I see like a lot of, like a few people putting their lists out. The main top four I've seen, the Max Gagey one, Connor Aldo, Leon Edwards against Kamaru. Oh, and, that was special. Um, Late too. Maybe even, maybe even Korean Zombie. Was it uh, Yaya Rodriguez, yes, yeah, Korean yeah, Zombie? Rodriguez, that might have yeah. been the other one. Mm. I'd say that one's fourth for me. Like that one's fucking good. This is number one for me because he's upper weight division. His career was nearly over after Volkanovski dominated him. And then he he's winning the fucking fight. Yes. Like minimum 3-1. Can I, can I, minimum. Can I counter? Probably 4-1. Probably 4-1. Can I counter? And it's definitely top. It might, might be top two. It might even be three. Like the moment itself was the best holy shit moment I've yeah, seen. Yeah, I'm right? not saying technical knockout. No, no, no. But I'd say like Leon Edwards last title like on the line. He's down four rounds, <coughs> minute to go. Getting pumped. He getting pumped and the head kick win is probably the best in terms of like... Because it was for a title. It was for the title. And then even maybe Conor Aldo, 13 seconds again, because it was for a title and it was like mm. his story reign. Yeah, well, I think it depends how you look at it. When you talk about... I'm, I'm looking at more of like holy shit moments. Then it's definitely Max. It's that one for that, sure. like whereas when you're talking about you know the consequences of of the the yeah. knockout the technical prowess so like because there's no i mean obviously there was technical prowess but it was just two blokes throwing fucking throwing and so which what, everyone loves like when it comes to impact like the conor mcgregor one there's an argument you know, that will never be topped like mm. 13 seconds the greatest ever in his division and one of the greatest of all time and he's in the changing room literally Doing the shadowing moves. the move there's an argument to be said, but I just think when it comes to holy shit moments where you've gone, the fight's done, not only, like you'd already it'd already be a holy shit moment that Max Holloway, after getting dusted by Dustin Holly, uh, Dustin Poirier, it, going up a weight division four or five years ago, comes back, dominates Gaethje, but then when you're fight, you're about to win the fight, the fight is over, it's done. You not Gaethje didn't even he wasn't the one that pointed. Nah. It was fucking Max Holloway uh -huh. twice. And then to knock him out with one yeah. second to, to go. go. 4.59. Dude, Special stuff. So and he's good. out cold. Douche. And he did point twice. He pointed twice. He was and, like, they just, and then they're just throwing. It's Have you also seen, sickening I saw it's come stuff. out, his logo is like, it's an M and an H, but it looks like, and he almost didn't even realise it's after Holloway, it looks like a point, like you're pointing to the ground. So it's like the M oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, H. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, it's actually just an M, H, bro, but it's like oh. it fully looks like he's pointing to the ground. Mate. It's good stuff. And then when he's like yelling, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. He's and like, his call you outs, are, you are him. His call outs to Ilya and fucking oh. Islam, like he just nailed it completely. Fuck, like that is that is movie shit. Mm. Like if that happened in a movie, you'd be like, oh, a bit too far, a bit too hectic. Like, come on, bro. I can't engage you like you know if you don't follow MMA closely he's a motherfucker he's a complete motherfucker like he is I mean that's why they're fighting for the BMF title yeah look there's obviously well, Gagey tech. had it didn't he he was a champion yeah, yeah. he already had the BMF yeah, yeah. yeah. so there's been champion there's been bigger good. moments in regards to <laughs> impact like winning belts and like Leon Edwards for sure to be honest obviously the head kick was incredible from Leon Edwards like 
fucking amazing. But his interview after it, headshot, bang. Is one of the great post fight. Yeah, yeah. Headshot bang. Look, Headshot at me now. Now. Look at me now. Yeah. Look at me now. Oh, I'm like, I grew up in like a yeah. fucking zinc hut. You doubted yeah. me. Oh, fuck. It's, oh, mate, I watch, that, I watch that speech all the time. Oh, it's man. So yeah. sick. It, Matt, or, that, or, or his fucking cornerman. Oh, what are you doing, Leon? Oh, yeah. They're going to pull, pull out of the fire, fire son. <laughs> <laughs> and they got the Rocky music and yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That I'm shit gets me going. Dude, same. It was so fucking good. Fuck, like, that's what makes combat sport. You can't get that in any other. You sport. don't get. The, I do not get the excitement, the oh. nerves, and feelings from uh, yeah, mate anywhere else. You, you just can't. It's like it's too hectic. It's too hectic. But yeah, too hectic. And then Pereira comes out and just goes. Yeah, but he just. I was got on kicked a in the dick. Different level. I don't need your help. I'm gonna fucking left hook this guy to help. I want him to go to heavyweight and fight Tom. Just Aspinall. let him do just it. Just let him do it. He's 36 years old. How much more of a time have we got? Yeah, just fucking let him do it. If he loses, who gives a fuck? Who like, cares? Like, let's, no, just, let's is get there it any going. MMA fan that's like, oh damn, he got to fight for light heavyweight? John Jones, he fucking, he's is he ever gonna fight again? Exactly. Seriously? Like Aspinall can't get a fight. Like. Fuck, seriously. It would get him pump, up. Dude. Get him up. Right, in Brazil as well. Oh. And and imagine if he did it. Yeah. Which he, which he could. Would, which he, he could. Bro, he could do his it. His striking is so good. And he's fucking massive. Did dude, you, he did puts you, the punch the same as what you're about to say. He's the the punch Ngani reading. thing, yeah. He's, you know, yeah, Ngani, bigger than Ngannou. He like, beat no, but, the but considerably out bigger. Of him. And, and apparently Ngannou's was off the charts massive. I, mean, I don't it, have like a, what the metrics they use were. Boxing is all about timing and technique. Like... People that think that the bigger you are, the harder you're going to hit. It's really not true. Um, He's pretty big, though. Oh, but I mean, Ngana is fucking way bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true, true. Um, so fuck what? And oh, look, didn't we say it last week? I said these are the cars you want to buy yeah. because they're usually got the bangers on them. Yeah, like the ones that you, you hype up and you're like, oh my god, it's got the biggest two fight. They usually fizzle out and they're not as good. Whereas this one, holy top to bottom, shit. We also now back down to uh, Max Holloway, Ilya, and Max. I actually Is that think, signed off on? No, but that'll be the next fight. Well, yeah, Ilya's come out and said he'll do it. Um, I actually think he's a much harder opponent than Alex Volkanovski is for stylistically. Because, like, stylistically, Volks, I think, is a little bit shorter than Ilya. So, like, that, that range is not going to be as hard to find. Whereas, whereas Max, being tall, and also a tall fighter has dropped to Poya before. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he's been dropped before by a, a tall fighter. And Max, and Max has can't never been go dropped. down. And he's never, he's, yeah, he's actually never been dropped. Even though he dropped to a knee. Technically, he kind of got yeah, dropped against but, Gagey, I'd say. But I'm just, happy just to let it go. Let it go, let, let it, go. it go. Go to the keeper. Shh, 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 shh. Um, I do think that uh, he Tapoya might struggle against Max just due to the, the stylistic matchup compared to um, Volks. Because, like, Volks was really good because he's so technical. So he can almost out-technical Max. Mm. Whereas Tapoya is incredibly technical, but it's, it's usually purely boxing. Mm. And so I just, I don't know how I was going to go with that range. I still probably give, I'll have to wait and see, but I think it's going to be a fair fight, like yeah, a very even a match one. fight. Um, and also Max's chin is like fucking it's granite. Ridiculous. And Connor's back. Connor's, honestly, doesn't excite me one bit. Oh, it excites as if, me. As if you're not going to watch. I never said that. Never said that. Of course you're I You're not slightly excited? Not really. Not really. I I not at the moment. Maybe it maybe was yeah, really closer. I'm, I'm, I'm way I'm, more hyped over Holloway. Yeah, to same. Way I'm, way I'm more like hyped. you. I'm, I'm interested in Connor coming back. I'm not hyped for it. There, I heard Chandler, I, th I think Chandler said it the other day, where he's like, oh, don't be surprised if we're fighting for the 165 title. They're going to introduce They're going to bring that in. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, that's, 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 just, that's, that's Toey. That's Toey stuff. It's Toey, but it's also like, what let's just try called? and... Uh, I don't know what that way would be called. I don't know. Because their weight classes don't the match McGregor up boxing. Weight. Yeah, exactly. Just call it McGregor White, fuck it. May as well. Yeah. May as well. He started it. Um, yeah, look, for me, McGregor, like, the ride that we went on together was beautiful. Like, one of the greatest all-time fan following rides I could ever go on. Mm. But that ride died a few years ago, unfortunately, for me. Well, the, ride's, the ride broke No, down. the ride's been over for a long and time. And it's understandable. You know, you earn that much money, and blah, blah, blah. It's understandable. But for me personally, just I can't get it. I can't it's get not the same. No, it's no. not the same. It's not the same. Absolutely, it's not the same. But I'll still listen to his... Uh, his press conferences. I'll still and listen, listen to the mate, fucking. I'll jail. go back. I'll go back and I'll look at the ride. And you know, maybe the ride's not on, or maybe like once every couple of years they should fire the ride back up again. Yeah. It's a bit of fun. I might go and sit there. This is how my, this is how far I've come on that ride, and actually, as far I've walked away from the ride is like he does interviews now, and I don't even watch him anymore. No, no. Whereas I watched everything that was. I found who did he do the? 
podcast, podcast with, with armchair experts. Found that really hard to listen to. Do they edit out every single they, pause? So they edit. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is fuck. So they don't release. It's funny. It's a massive podcast. They got like 20 mil, 60 mil from fucking Spotify back and they were throwing cash around. <clears throat> but. They don't do any YouTube and you can tell why because they're obviously so nervous about what they say or some shit. Like it is cut oh, to Oh mate, I couldn't listen to it. I'm like, yeah. this is complete horseshit. And I shit. did not like the host. And also like uh, Conor McGregor is nowhere near the orator that he used to be. Like, But they would the guy wouldn't let him get into his flow. He kept interrupting him. It was yeah. cut and it was jarring. It was all hosts. over the place. It was hosts. a mess. When the guy was like trying to, everything he said, he wouldn't just let him speak. He'd just go, oh, you like this or like that. Yeah. Never flowed. Mm. When Never you're doing flowed. an interview, like jump like bro it's not about you bro like if you're doing an interview it's about the fucking guests i yeah. hate when interviewees think it's about them it's like bro we're not here to dude know. the best interviews are when you come out of it and you're like i didn't say fucking anything yeah 100 <laughs> percent. yeah 100 percent. they're my favorite <laughs> um who would okay gun to head who would you select tomorrow kp or walsh at fullback for queensland walsh walsh Wow. I think you can play Carlin. The, the problem is that if you pick, pick Carlin and then you've got Ben Hunt and then you've got mm. Harry Grant and then you've got Reuben Cotter, I feel like you you're pretty pick. small then. You can't really, you couldn't be, you really can't pick. I feel like Carlin you can't Connor. pick Carlin. No, you can't. I, I, this idea that they're going to put KP on the bench is like, but for who? You've got Harry Grant and Ben that have been like, talk like, one of the great combinations, fucking seriously, in Origin. Yeah. One, what, two punches. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're yeah, not changing you doing? that. Why the fuck would you change I that? I feel like the Bush poet is just keeping everyone's options open. He's yeah, not saying, okay. like, you know, he's just, he doesn't want to uh, get anyone down, but he also gets, you know, he gets his rocks off by, you know, being sort of uh, obtuse. So he's like, you know, you're in control of where you're going. It's all like you're the <laughs> captain of your own boat. I read that quote as a very standard quote. From no, the it's given mastery of your own oh, destiny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's also, I'm pretty sure that's been like, that's uh, paraphrased from what he actually oh, said. Okay. There was a lot more to it. Okay, you reckon he haikooed with the journal, you reckon? Yeah. yeah, he did, but he didn't get anything back. So he just kept haikooing. Yeah. <laughs> I would be shocked if everyone's fit, if Kalen's on, it wouldn't make any sense to have him on the bench. Mm. Uh, sorry, bro. Reese is better. Oh, that's a big statement. You're Clown mouth. Reese, when he's on, is <laughs> fucking insane. KP, better uh, ball player? Fair or not fair? No, I don't know. I, I I'm don't asking. Know. It's, it's tough because they actually are really quite similar. KP's a bigger body. You'd say, you'd say Reese Walsh's first 10 metres is quicker. He's willing to take more risks. Which turns me on <laughs> it's it's a tough one it's i'm shocked very... you both were so quick to say reese yeah. reese Walsh better i think oh, pong is better i mean he's a dalian i'm not saying i'm not saying ponga is uh, like at you the think moment Pong, you'd pick ponga over Walsh. No, no no i wouldn't pick ponga over Walsh. well that's more but, what i'm saying yeah, exactly. oh, okay right i think they're but like ponga is a fucking weapon it's not so much that ponga is not good but it's like reese walsh is amazing ponga is amazing reese walsh did the thing and i hate queensland let it be the known. kp did the thing the year before like you've got to come back here to find a way to come back so. reese fucking killed it and he's killed it like he's continuing and he's kill killed it. it all season as well oh he he's, he's wasn't the best last week well he, he broke like his four, face five like, Comes, comes no, I'm, I'm not I'm just like saying he technically he wasn't face. the best last week he'll get better he'll be back to his best he already turning on each other I know fuck it's early yeah. no we just have high standards it's, all, it's That's very all. early we don't just go they're killing it willy nilly so would you have Kalen or Reese? right if I selected the team today it would actually be KP because he's played the whole season okay but generally speaking more broadly oh, mate honestly I, I don't know I seriously don't know. That's not the answer. We need you to give well, an answer. That's then. my answer. Well, I don't the know right now. Post out of your bum and answer. Oh my god! Um, full, f both fit, both playing each game. I'd go Walsh at the moment. There you go. There you go. There that you wasn't go. hard, was it, Sitter? There you go. But I seriously don't know. Come on, Sitter. Okay, so okay, let's say <laughs> let's say let's say Walsh does, like doesn't play that well for the next six games, and KP keeps killing it. Mm. Well, then going. no, then you like you can still pick on form. Like if Walsh is playing, and that's like what shit. I'm saying. Like there's still so much. Time yeah, but you happened. asked us to give a fucking answer right now, and we were able to do yeah, it. Yeah, but I didn't no. fucking get angry at you if you said I don't know. Of course, said, we yeah. don't say no. You got to bloody, you got to get off the pull. You got to get, get, get off oh the fence. You got to get off the fence now and then. Yeah, yeah. You don't uh, want to die out there, mate. Lonely place. Uh, Raiders sign, re-sign Ethan Strange until the end of 2028. Jeez, not a bad. Like he's good. I'm a Raider, Ethan. He's a big he's a fan of him. He oh, he, no, he plays rugby league. He plays yeah. rugby league. He oh, plays no, rugby he league. Plays rugby no, league. good yeah. sign for the Raiders. I like seeing the Raiders do Mate, well. I wonder what happens to KO Weeks. Do we see him in the Super League soon? Is that like, he just fucking hasn't managed to... Yeah, I don't know. He's still young, I know. Still, but like, still you know, young. He went there as a like, oh, fuck. 
He They're promised so young, more. Man. He promised a lot. He did promise a lot. <clears throat> He's, he is so young. It's like, you know, just give him time. Give him time to learn his trade. Uh, he's still like 21, 22. Yeah. Like, so back to TAFE, you reckon? Uh, stay at uni. You don't need to go to TAFE. Well, learning your trade. Yeah. Oh, you're like, you okay, go to TAFE at night. Yeah, fair enough. On the tours during the day. Bit of night school? Bit of night school, yeah. Okay. Not a big TAFE guy. No. Not a big trade guy. No, no. I'm more of a trade guy than you. Well, not me. Well. Did you actually get your trade? Well, no, I just was an unskilled labourer. What's more trade? I literally learnt my trade. I Three was years. unskilled. That's how tradey I am. <laughs> um, question. Uh, I also listened to another thing a dribbler sent me. So it's not a question, it's a statement, but okay. it's also a question. Um, was it a statement or a question? I've got a statement. But that, you're going to question. And I'm going to sort of, you know, I'm using it to, I want to put it to my two, my two good <laughs> friends here. <laughs> This dribbler said, um, Manly moving on Schuster, which we all know. Oh, yeah, we haven't spoken about that. No, but... Protecting, I was protecting you guys, but yeah, you brought it up. You brought it up. Thank you. Um, but apparently... <laughs> Good old apparently. Manly have been having conversations with a young gentleman from the Gold Coast Titans by the name of David Fafita, mm. who they sound has like some sort of clause... Of like, if my team sucks, he hasn't I can taken leave. it up yet. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't. No, taken I don't know about the team suck. He can just he'd he do well. On, he'd do well on the peninsula. He really would, dude. He'd do well. Um, Next it would Brooks. be interesting because he was at the Broncos when uh, Seabold was the coach when Fafita left, and I do, if I my birdies are correct, Fafita didn't like how that played out in the media. Um, that whole situation. Ooh, so that's not good for us then. Uh, look again, that wasn't from Dave Fafita or even someone you know very close to him, but just. My understanding was that Fafita, part of the reason why he left was because he didn't like the way it was all being played out in the media when it was agreed not to. Uh, so maybe that's incorrect. And maybe he has a great relationship with Seabold. And maybe that maybe Seabold had nothing to do with that, even though he was the coach. Maybe yeah. Seabold was like, why is everyone finding out? 100%. Why can't, we, why can't we just have, dare to dream? Yeah. You can, look, I'm not... I'm Every not time we it. bring something oh, up... I know. Fuck me. It's I always, <laughs> nah, that won't happen. <laughs> I didn't say it won't happen. I'm just saying that you've got to remember he was under Seawall when they won the bloody spoon. Well, they're coming last yeah. now anyway. <laughs> so you're about to fucking get another one. Exactly right. Blake's um, addicted to spoons. He wants to come to a club that's never won one, maybe. <sighs> not a bad place to start. I don't think he likes merger clubs, though. That's what I've heard. Well, well that's good. He's lucky it's not 1999. <laughs> We'll have a home at the sea. I saw earlier that you guys were a bit nervous about this weekend's game. Yep, and remain nervous. And I, I say this respectfully. Um, first of all, this is the slot that your team deserves. Like, let's be honest here. And second of all, we're prime this, time, mate. Isn't this prime time for Manly the Flat Track Bullies? Five thirty on a Saturday at the Gold Coast. Flat time. Track Bullies, Den, and we just beat the fucking Premiers. I said it with respect. Premiers. I said with all due respect. Rabbitohs when they were good, Bruce and Roosters this good. season. That's that, that's the hit list, baby. They're yeah. the bodies in the they're the bodies in the van. I so. feel like five thirty on a Saturday is literally prime time, Manly, where you no, do your no, best no, work. No, 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 no. 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 That'd be three thirty, Mudgy Hot Track. Let like us know this. in the comment section. Is five thirty prime time on a Fuck Saturday you. when How Manly do their best work? Well, we don't have bloody the Broncos set up where you're a one team town and you just get Friday night games every single Because we're fucking week. big swinging all dicks. No, Sorry for being a big swinging no. dick, bro. All we all we said, <laughs> I, I still think we win and win well 13 plus. Same. All I said was I'm nervous about this slot against the fucking Titans who, and we went through it last week, Tigers, winless, and then they got one in round seven. The season before that, there was a team that was winless. They got one in round seven. It does happen to be round seven. It's round sevens, yeah. Which yeah. I didn't know when I said I felt uneasy about I this didn't game, know that but either. that added I'm something. This. It's okay. added something. So that makes me nervous. The Titans winless away. Dez old club five thirty slot Saturday. Just it's just it's an ambush slot. It's an ambush slot. It's like Titans aren't a bright lights team. No, Titans suck, but what they are is like... They, they'll, uh, they'll win when no one's looking, yeah. which is 5.30 in the afternoon on a Saturday. Yeah, exactly. And they'll, what they will do is find a way to make us play as shit as they Look, I, I think It's like the Dragons. They're a Dragon sort of side where they're shit at rugby league and they make you play shit. Yes. I think you're in a bit of a tough situation because if you do go and pound them, then my theory is correct. That's your prime time spot. No, it doesn't. That means that it's not our prime time spot. <laughs> It just means that we're a fucking good rugby league side doing what we should do. No, we get a lot of Friday night games. Did, you know, with the, the like the thirteen plus that you you, know, you built up the brand, did you ever get in trouble for not putting the fucking fine print against bottom four sides? Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, what's this all is, this about? It's just fucking. <laughs> 
Pats. What's all this about? We beat the pen. We beat the Panthers thirteen plus fucking last week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Three what time premiers. What are we talking premiers. about? We humped the fuck out of them. Yeah. We and you sit here every week sucking them off. Oh, it doesn't matter if Cleary's not there. Next man up. And then when we do it, it's like, no, nah, uh, it doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> I didn't uh, say that. You do, dude. Oh, I read. Mouth oh, full I of know. fucking Nathan It was Cleary's just a cock. question. I didn't fuck say whether you. it was true or not. Fuck you. Dude. I just asked if you got in trouble. I didn't fuck say. You. <laughs> I asked if you got in trouble with it. I didn't say I agree with it. Right. I'm just asking questions, Why boys. don't you go bottle another jet? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, let's get into some <laughs> <laughs> Um Okay, uh, watch all these games on KO and also keep your ear to the ground because Magic Round's coming up. Just keep your ear to the ground. Keep, keep it to the ground. To the ground. Keep it to the ground. Keep, keep it to the ground. Okay, uh, Sydney Roosters versus the Melbourne Storm. Sydney paying two bucks. Storm dollar eighty five. Storm. Storm. Give it to me. Storm. Give me the this storm. Is, is this? Uh, oh no, this is Anzac next week. No, oh. Anzac does next week. Mate. Yeah, sorry. Next Thursday. I'm all I scary. like the Storm. Storm have a good history against the Roosters. The Roosters have not blown my penis away. <laughs> no. I think Storm win. No, your penis. I've seen it. It's still there. But uh, they haven't picked it off. No, still, no, it's still no, attached. It's still, there. still attached. Far okay. too attached for my liking. Storm. <laughs> I've Double gone storm. stitched. Uh, Dragons, Warriors. Ah, uh, was for sure. Although, apparently the Warriors fucking hate playing at Wynn Stadium. Yeah, well, like who a, doesn't? 19% win rate yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they get the, yeah, like, they, they do not like playing there, Damn. thus the odds. Because if it was at home... They, you they know what? It's Because be. it's against a warrior, St. George. Well, that's... that's um, St. George says Dragons, not Warriors. Uh, you are right. Their percentage is terrible, but they've won their last two there. Okay. 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 No, there but warriors are fighting an actual St. George actually killed a dragon. Whereas yes. there's no one, na- like, it's just a warrior. Like, oh, okay. So you're saying St. George has the ability to kill much greater than all. Well, they've, they've actually killed a dragon, whereas we are unsure what the warrior has killed. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, we don't know how big the You can go with me or, not, or no, you can fight me on it. I was trying to understand it. I wasn't yeah, It's all right. Look, we confused. can go together or we can I was can, trying to clash. go with you. I was honestly, I wanted to go with you. I wanted to come, I wanted to come simultaneously. It didn't feel, I I didn't feel trying, like you were trying. Well, I was trying to understand. It, you know? felt, it felt like it was, there was a wall there that I was just trying to breach. No, no. Well, listen, the wall was your poor fucking analogy. I was trying to understand it. I did my goddamn best. <laughs> um, yeah, Warriors. Para Eels uh, versus Dolphins. Para. I'm going Dolphins. Oh, yeah. Going Dolphins. Same. I reckon I'm coming with you. Ambush. So it's in Darwin. Yeah, it is in Darwin. It's in Darwin. I just hate the eels. So. Two ninety nine is juicy. Yeah, that's good money. It's juicy. The fish, True. though, I actually don't believe in the fish this year. Yep. But two ninety nine really? is good money. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't they're, believe. But when they're full strength, they're a pretty red hot side. Yeah, but I just don't believe. Or at least, like they were top of the ladder, and everyone's like, "Fucking Wayne Bennett's done it again." I'm like, "He's they've played no one." Yeah. True. Uh, okay, Penrith Panthers versus the Tigers. I think. Well, I, th- I think I like the Tigers line of 14 and a half, but I think Panthers will scrape home. Chop them up. Yeah, I'm going Panthers. Panthers. Titans versus Manly. Titans playing 341. Manly. Manly. You've got to go Manly. Famous, famous. I know. Time. Listen, it's, 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 a kind of a, it's a kind of a slot, but it's, it's prime time for you guys. It's Which a tricky you, you slot. You can be nervous. You can admit to nerves, but, but also on the be surface, confident. Be calm and ready to drop bombs. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going Manly, and Manly to win well because it's literally their prime time. Uh, Brisbane Broncos versus the Raiders. Uh, Got to go to the Bronx. Yeah. I'm going Bronx head to head, but I'm going uh, Raiders with a seven and a half start. I don't mind that. I think this will be. I think two ninety three is juicy as shit for the Raiders. Yeah, no, it's not a way. You're not getting a bad. Do the Raiders so. also have a bit of a history of beating Broncos up in Suncorp? Remember that last they game? Did like, last year? Last year with uh, Rapina with yeah. the head clash. Oh, yeah. the crazy oh, and blood. Then to yeah. Oh my god. Um, Bulldogs, Knights. Is Ponger in doubt? Um, I, have been, I think he's sweet, but Dogs. he does have Because it seemed, they seem to be fairly evenly matched here. Dogs. Mm. Dogs at two bucks. Thank you, sir. Yes, please. As long as they don't have anyone out. If Pong is playing, I'm not. He's in doubt, but they've wait, it's the Sunday game, so they're just Only waiting. Knights. Who's at fullback? Is Taft back? No, he's coming off the bench. And uh, who's Tracy's the fullback. Connor so, Trace is a rugby league footballer. The kid he, plays. He, he plays rugby league. He plays rugby league. Yeah. He is one of those players who fucking really does play. Yeah, no, he does play rugby league. Um, so Sharkies incredible. versus Cowboys. Sharks. Sharks. I don't know why the fuck the Cowboys are as short as are. I might go but cows. Just I went. Ca- I went cows a bit of value thirteen plus because you don't know what they're going to do. The cows. Shark- and I, it's the same yeah, with the bunnies last week. And you're like, oh, the sharks. I'm like, the sharks are just. They just still haven't got it. Yet. Head to head, I'm obviously going twelve points. Head to head, I'm going sharks. Yeah, but they were letting the bunnies who suck testicles back back mm. into the game. Head to head, I'm going sharks. But if you want, I reckon there's a bit of value. No, in the Cowboys lines. Cowboys thirteen plus. Cowboys thirteen plus. Because you just don't know. 
Like yeah. they could turn up and go fucking mental. I'm going cows. No, nah, sure. Just on that Raiders thing you asked for. So they've won four from the last seven, but at Suncorp, but three of them were magic round, not against Broncos. Uh, doesn't okay. count. No, it does not count. <laughs> Doesn't count. All right, that is us done and dusted, guys. As usual, I'll grab some uh, good day. Um, BeGoodHealth.com.au. Grab a case of bloke beer. Uh, and as usual, we'll go and fuck ourselves. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.